Hi, Dave here. Um, just fun to put in a little video on about some of the things that have been going on lately. Um, some of the exciting products that uh, are out there and you might be interested in. Um, first of all, obviously, we've just had Record Store Day. And um, I personally couldn't get down on the day itself, but um, I popped in um, a few days afterwards to see what was left around Nottingham. And to be fair, there wasn't that much left, so that probably means they've got the stocking about right. And in previous years, they've had one or two left over. Maybe that was because those records themselves had already been out on vinyl and people already had them. Um, one I particularly wanted was um, uh, one by the Future Sound of London, which hadn't really been out on vinyl before, but only extremely limited. And uh, obviously people know that and they've picked it up. So that all had all gone. But I did get a um, brilliant record, which seemingly isn't selling that well, actually. Um, by uh, Beavis Frond, which is uh, something I can highly recommend. They've got a brilliant cover. It's a double and there's loads of varied stuff on it. It's, and it's right up my street. Uh, sort of, they're mainly known as um, psychedelic sort of rockers, but it's kind of varied, very eclectic stuff and um, sort of suits me down to the ground. So it seems, they've been around for ages. I've never really heard of them before, just shows you. Um, but the main, well, not the main, but a, um, a little band I've been buying up some records off as a result of Record Store Day, really. Although I kind of heard about them by accident. Some well-known rock star was being interviewed and they happened to mention this band and that had been involved in some kind of prank with them. Somebody had played them as, as them or something anyway, and they described who it was. So I thought, oh, they sound interesting, and, and in fact they are quite good. That's um, Confidence Man, which is possibly two people, possibly four people, a girl singer and uh, a guy. I don't know that much about them, not really seen them in action. I think the guy, there's one guy who's like a producer, and obviously the girl does the singing. Um, the record on Record Store Day was a remix, 12-inch single of six or seven tracks from their latest album, which is this called Tilt. Um, that was pretty good. Not the cheapest record, but pretty good for sort of dancey, upbeat sort of stuff that we like to play. Um, so on the strength of that and uh, a bit of research, unfortunately, um, the two albums they've made so far, which is this from 2022 and the debut from 2018, both knocked down to about 15 quid in rough trade, which was Pretty good look, so well done them. And they're both um, excellent. I can highly recommend checking those out. So that's Confidence Man, Beavis Frond, um, Future Sound of London's one on Record Day, if you can find it. Record Store Day, if you can find it. Okay, enough about that. We all know about Record Store Day. We've talked about it a lot. Recent releases which have been notable and we've been sort of talking about. My favourite, of course, Rose Eleanor. Now in combination with uh, a partner, um, life partner, it seems, and now also a musical partner, Graham Coxon from Blur. Um, we went to the signing and live performance at Rough Trade and I've uh, also seen them at Leeds and Nottingham Rescue Rooms in full concert with the full band and they really were excellent. I think they've got a couple of festival dates coming up you know, over the summer. So well worth looking out for. Moody, folky, new folk. I'm not sure if it really gets there, but there's enough elements in there to, I think, they do kind of carry it off from what they claim they're trying to do. I'm not really sure they get there 100%, but um, it's a bit mean and moody, uh, dark in parts, uh, but it's been a good spring listen, that has. 
That's the CD. I've actually got the record, of course. I'm just going that because it's handy. Now, you know, we've been, um, well, we've put one gig on, um, promoted one gig before Christmas, and we've also been getting out to one or two others as well. Um, Death of the High Street. It's one of our favourites. Nice bunch of lads. They've got loads of stuff out on um, social media, YouTube, etc. Um, no vinyl out, but they have got that. CD, which is limited to 30, I think, if you want to try and get it from them. Uh, might be a few copies left. Anything by them is worth checking out. Good sort of local. Um, hard, not hard rocking, but um, good, loud, interesting band. These are actually friends of theirs as well. Patron Saint, often played together. Um, I haven't seen, I don't know, I have seen them briefly, uh, and that's a pretty good CD as well. Sort of various styles of um, modern rock and roll on there, very good. Our old friends Blackboard, been around for a while, can't recommend them enough, in my opinion, the best live band in the country. Blackboard, and that was a CD that was actually a few years old, but I picked it up when I went to see them uh, late last year. Another band that we've seen and um, we DJ'd after at the Ruby Tuesday event back in January. Fardy. Not great little CD there. Lots of um, bright, rocky stuff. Kind of with a good sense of humour as well. And also a nice little 7 inch English put out. Worth collecting. Obviously these are all quite limited so always worth picking up another local band they were very good and play a lot for free Diablo Furs this is a record I've been playing recently at live gigs as well and I'd also like to plug the record label which is uh, Punk Fox that's from uh, Leicester, and these this fella is basically a one-man operation. He really put some thought and uh, presentation into these singles. He's got a series of about twenty, um, and you you know some. I mean, I bought a record for fifteen quid a single the other day, and it just came in a paper sleeve. This were, these were like less than a fiver. I bought about five in one go from him. Uh, all in lovely, well produced, colourful cardboard sleeve with the coloured vinyl in a separate sleeve and also a cover as well. So I, I'm not sure he's making his money on, on this for that price. But Punk Fox, if you want to just have a go on the Discogs and look through their catalogue, always coloured vinyl, always... A great product. Now this is the one I was on about. This is a brilliant record and again I've got to thank uh, our old friend over there at Oldridge, um, Silver Quiff himself, for um, putting me on to this via uh, another band actually that this, well, the connection is that there's a girl in both bands who sings um, he posted, obviously went to see them in concert, and uh, what are they called? The Noise, I think they are, or The Trouble, The Trouble, which is, again, right up my street, um, three or four girls in it, plus a, a rocking um, backing band, and can't wait to see them, and one of the singers in it is also in, well, again, it's on the social media, uh, appears to be in this BDQ, which is um, the Bun Debrett Quartet, not the BB&Q, 
which I thought it was, which is obviously Brooks, Brooklyn, Bronx and Queens. Some of you are old enough, you'll remember that. But um, Bun Debret Quartet, BB, BDQ. And uh, she's a singer on both sides. Lydia Sharp is, is the girl's name. And I guess it's a proper well done sort of 60s homage, really. And uh, sort of solely. In fact, the B-side is Wasn't It You, which is uh, on, uh, well, it's written by Goffin and King. Certainly a version by The Action on the B-side of that reissued single from back in the day. And, uh, well, it's 15 quid and uh, I thought it was worth buying because if you look at these guys on Discog, you'll see that, or in Bandcamp, their albums sell out and they're worth a hell of a lot of money so they're obviously well respected in this community so um good for, good for them and just a quick word about a couple of others i'm going to recommend this a few i've had this a couple of years now but a band uh, i want to check out when i have time tbam sorry if that was backwards this was picked up cheap at rough trade 75 pence in the end which is amazing really this wasn't bought and it was sitting around in their bargain bin nice colour vinyl sort of heavy hawkwindish a side b side a bit different but that's a great record to play live a couple of oldies this turned up somewhere i think it was in Oxfam, or it might have been somewhere else, I can't remember exactly. A great version of To Know Her Is To Love Her, but of course, well, yeah, that, that's the way it's done because it's a male singer. It's not To Know Him Is To Love Him. And that is Rob Storm and the Whispers, which has got to be an alias for somebody. Obviously, it's from the 60s or, yeah, I can't say that's in the 70s. I'll have to, have to check it out, but not Rory Storm, but Rob Storm. And that, that's actually almost as good as the original and a very, very good version. And a fun song on the back called Bee Bopper Loo Bopper Lie, which again, that's, that's a great single. And one of my old favourites, I, I bought this with a few others of Discogs, I think. One of the boys wanted, never bought it when I had the chance back in the day for some reason. Wendy Wu, one of the original pin up girls, she was going to be the fancy to be the UK answer to uh, Debbie Harry, and it never really took off for some reason. Um, this was the first single put out, I think it's on the CBS, and it's on the independent, yeah, it's on the CBS. So it was back those days when good bands were signed up straight away. They didn't have to put records out on independent records for years. And uh, the photos were on Midlands television quite a lot. And obviously we saw a lot of them. They possibly didn't get national exposure that much. That's a great record called I'm So Attractive. A bit postmodernish before... It was really fashionable or even been thought of so well done them i'd like to play that one okay comment underneath if you've got any thoughts on record store day or any of these records good luck <laughs>